Today, we made every single offensive rookie of the year that's in the league into a 99 overall. Now, the only rule is they must be an active player currently on a team. So no Todd Gurley, unfortunately. He was the 2015 winner. But let's start with the most recent winner, the 2023 offensive rookie of the year, CJ Stroud. Now up to a 99 overall. Leading a very solid Texans team, 84 overall. Nasty on both sides of the football. They should make a deep run. The 2022 offensive offensive rookie of the year Garrett Wilson up to a 99 and we know what Rodgers could do when he has a 99 overall wide receiver not to mention a very nice supporting cast around those two New York is also an 84 overall the 2021 offensive rookie of the year Jamar Chase only had to go up a few overalls he was already in the mid to high 90s so Burrow gets an even better wide receiver one the Bengals are an 82 overall those we've seen so far but still very solid back to the quarterback position for the 2020 Offensive Rookie of the Year, Justin Herbert. No more Keenan and Mike Williams, man. Offense looking a lot different. But as long as you have that guy, a quarterback, and some really solid players on defense, they should be able to compete. The 2019 Offensive Rookie of the Year, Kyler Murray, up to a 99. Gonna be some crazy numbers he puts up with Marvin Harrison Jr., McBride. They're an 80 overall, same as Los Angeles. The 2018 winner, Saquon Barkley, up to a 99 overall. On the Eagles. Now Philly has the highest overall in the video so far, 87, with a handful of guys on offense that have abilities. He had back-to-back -back running backs, 2017 winner Alvin Kamara, up to a 99. People forget how good he used to be and how good he still can be when healthy. So hopefully this video can serve as a little reminder. Saints are an 83 overall. The 2016 winner, Dak Prescott, is now a 99. Just like old times, him and Zeke back on the same squad. Cowboys are very respectable 85 overall looking to make some noise but the favorites in the video might have to be the 2014 winner Odell Beckham Jr and his Miami Dolphins. Tua now has two 99 overall wide receivers to throw to between Odell and Tyreek. You have Jalen Waddle as your number three. They're an 86 overall, one less than the Eagles. Will we see both of them in the Super Bowl? One drive with each of these offensive rookie of the years on offense. Kyler up first, and he completes his first pass to MHJ. Is that his nickname? I, I, I don't know if it is yet. We'll, we'll see what they call him in the NFL. I didn't watch too much college. I just know he's a stud, okay? Kyler playing like a stud back-to-back -back completions new addition zay jones Bengals tightening up that coverage they're sending the blitz kyler over the middle with a catch by michael wilson 19 yards to keep the chains moving they have yet to run the football and right when i say that connor gets his first carry of the game and it's a good one first down another big third down kyler buys lonesome he is yet to take off gave him a skate artist because he's capable of doing that first down 11 yard gain on the ground the cardinal over under six and a half and if Kyler can stay healthy I, I, I mean come on man you have to go over Hendrickson with the sack right there they're looking pretty good I think that's an over but don't take that advice okay I'm just speculating look at that laser on the run Cardinal strike first Harrison Jr. with the tutty now it's Joe Burr and the Bengals Mark Chase top of the screen it's gonna start with a Zach Moss carry but he loses three yards if it's a quick three and out we'll give the Bengals another chance but see if Burrow has anything up his sleeve okay he's gonna go to his tight end Gasicki but that's one yard short and they're gonna have to punt Arizona with the football they do nothing with it so now since he has better field position multiple tight ends in a game let's see if Zach Moss can get going on the ground there it is best run of the game so far six yards on that one now the Bengals over under is 10 and a half so that one's a little tough they have a very tough division I think they can make the playoffs but uh I, I don't know which way to go in terms of betting on that over under Moss looking good though and he looks good for the Colts last season if he can step in and replace Joe Mixon's production you still have Higgins yeah you, you know what I'm saying you have Jamar Chase of course big third and two I mean you have kick Fearson from here it would be just under a 60 yard field goal Cardinal send a blitz Kasiki with the first down maybe he has a big season for Cincy Jamar Chase has yet to get a target the offensive rookie of the year from 2021 has been used as a decoy will Burrow finally decide to target him oh my goodness why is he dropping back like 20 yards he throws it right into the hands of the Cardinals linebacker, Gardeck. I blame the game for that one. There's no way he should have dropped back that far. I think it was like a glitch. Credit to the Cardinals for playing good defense. They end up getting a touchdown on that drive. But since he finally gets on the board, third quarter now, still 14-7 until the Cardinals take a 
a two possession lead. Final score 14 to 27. Kyler with a great game. Three touchdowns, only one pick. Run games were kind of quiet on both sides of the football. MHJ with a great game. Jamar Chase 455. He did have a touchdown. If they need to target him a little bit more, if you're gonna make any noise, you gotta rely on him. Next matchup, CJ Stroud and the Texans taking on Alvin Kamara and the New Orleans Saints. First play from scrimmage is gonna be a loss of one by Joe Mixon. They can get anything close to great production from Joe Mixon. Look out for Houston. I think they're not a sleeper. A lot of people are picking them to go deep, but I think I'm hammering the over. There's his nine and a half. I think they can win the division and get maybe 10 or 11 wins. Stroud picking up where he left off is a good bet to make. I think he's going to only improve. Collins gets the first down reception, but again, you need Joe Mixon to not be over the hill. He has a lot of carries in his career. A lot of touches for Cincy. Best run of the game right there. Makes it a third and four. Saints defense is no joke though. So even if they don't look amazing, in this game doesn't mean they won't have a good rest of the season stroud gonna drop back throw it again collins great catch mixing in motion you know he's very good at receiving as well so that's something to keep an eye on stroud going to his tight end for the first time dalton schultz here's cj going over the middle and what did i say man joe mixon showing that he can receive just as well as he rushes touchdown houston time to see alvin Kamara and the new orleans saints first carry is gonna get fired Five. Now they're over under seven and a half. It all depends on Derek Carr. What kind of season he's going to have if they move on and try to get Rattler in there. Olave is an absolute stud, but there's no more Michael Thomas. So it's going to be interesting to see what their offense looks like. Juwan Johnson, underrated tight end, getting the first down. If Kamara can show he's back to full health. I mean, that defense, you saw it. They have so many good players. So I don't know. It could be an over. Oh, that was a catch and a fumble by Rashid Shaheed. I think that one's going to be reviewed. Why? Wow, okay, so Texans take over. We've already seen them, and Stroud is in the zone. So right now, it's not looking good for New Orleans. 14 to zero, Houston strikes on that drive, but New Orleans refuses to go away. They cut it to a one possession game. Fourth quarter, they tie it up, but the Texans are gonna kick the game winning field goal as time expires. Amazing execution down the stretch. 14 to 17, final score. The most recent rookie of the year, Stroud, with a flawless game. Camara did his thing, nine for 105 five and a touchdown over 11 yards of carry they need to feed him more hopefully they use this as a learning lesson next up the classic rivalry philadelphia versus dallas saquon against dak barkley getting positive yards man he had a fight for those three on his first carry now both of these teams over under is 10 and a half nfc east is very unpredictable but one thing's for sure it's tough to win the division in back-to-back -back years hasn't happened in ages i think since like the early 2000s when the eagles were going to nfc championship games almost every year read option jalen hurts gonna fall forward for the first down they gave it to him i like the tight end acquisitions philly made just in case goddard gets hurt they have some guys that can step in and speaking of dallas he gets his first reception of the game trips to the right on second and nine eric kendrick's new addition to that cowboys defense with the tackle hurts going downfield risky decision he had smitty wide open don't know why he decided to go to Devonte parker that's trayvon diggs remember he got injured and the cowboys missed his production greatly now he's coming back and and as you can see, he's a playmaker. So now Dallas has great field position. Offensive rookie of the year. Prescott on his first pass. Throws a laser to his tight end, Ferguson. They're inside the 30 just like that. Dak dotted this defense up. Man, he had a great regular season. Just could not put it together in the playoffs, unfortunately. Second and three now after that seven-yard pass. Holbert with the reception. You already know CD is the focal point of this offense. That's why the Eagles have two guys focused on him. Double teaming him as they should. Should, but that's gonna free up someone else tolbert with another catch i don't like that free release from cd that's where he's gonna go never mind it's jake ferguson wide open and dallas gets the first points of the game and the eagles strike back and keep this one close no dallas goes up 14 to 0 philly finally scores in quarter number three they actually tie it up heading into the fourth quarter they take the lead and they end up holding on to a 24 21 philadelphia gets the dub great game by prescott three touchdowns no picks outplayed hurts but saquon 10 for 97 two touchdowns both offensive rookie of the years carrying their squad man but one team had to win and that ended up being the eagles now we have the new york jets with garrett wilson against 
Odell and the Dolphins. Rodgers and this offense up first. He's going downfield to a wide open Wilson. How do you leave the former offensive rookie of the year that wide open? Busted coverage. Now, both of these teams have the same over under nine and a half. Same division as Rodgers completes it to Alan Lazard. If Rodgers is healthy, I mean, the Jets offense looking crazy. Their defense with Hassan Reddick now and Quinnen. It's also looking good on that side. But again, another tough division. These teams have to worry about the Bills. Patriots defense is not easy you know so I, I don't know man it's gonna be tough either way there's still a lot of talent on both of these teams so it, it's gonna be entertaining to watch their games Williams getting them inside the 20 if he stays healthy look out like it, it's a lot of ifs but you never know what could happen great defense by Poyer new addition to that Dolphins secondary all this talk about their offense but their defense they have Ramsey and Poyer now like what that's nasty one of the best safety cornerback combos but Rogers going down as Bradley Chuck so at all three levels of this defense, the Dolphins have playmakers. It's third down and 21. Rodgers trying to make sure he doesn't go backwards, but he is. Jalen Phillips with the sack this time. And they push them out of field goal range. Phenomenal job by the Dolphins front seven. First down and 10 to under center. Tyreek to the top. Odell to the bottom. I think Beckham still has a lot in the tank. Like a few years ago, he was cooking in the Super Bowl. Last year, I watched a good amount of Ravens games. You know, their scheme wasn't to pass heavy, but he still would make plays when his number was called upon. So I, I don't know. I think he could be a very good number three wide receiver. Tyreek with the first down. First play of quarter, number two, third and five for the Dolphins. Quinnen and Reddick right next to each other on that right side. Tua going to step up, dump it off to Mostert, and they get the first. Odell is still yet to get a target. Tua's only passed it twice, to be fair. Mostert getting some nice yards. Beautiful spin move. Nine-yard gain on that one. And the Dolphins are going to attempt this long field goal. This is a 50 something yarder the kick is up and it's good miami strikes first all right let's see if this is a low scoring game nope okay the jets get a touchdown on the very next drive dolphins answer back with a field goal but there you go you need touchdowns if you're gonna have a chance to beat this team 20 to 10 new york down big in the fourth quarter now dolphins offense just took off in the second half and that's what makes them so dangerous 34 to 10 final score tua three touchdowns no picks rogers with not the best game reese and a chan with a touchdown down Odell six for 66 two touchdowns for the former offensive rookie of the year meanwhile Gary Wilson three for 59 not enough targets for him and last but not least Justin Herbert and the Los Angeles Chargers great field position after a rare Justin Tucker missed field goal Herbert completes his first pass new tight end Hayden Hurst on the reception a lot of new faces on this offense but Herbert they're hoping he has a Mahomes type season where he can just elevate the players around him and he doesn't need big names to do it McConkie new addition getting his first reception you have Edwards and Dobbins at running back against their former teams I forgot to mention 13 yards on his first carry by Gus now the Chargers over under is eight and a half that's another risky one I don't know which way to go it could easily go over it could easily go under I don't know the way Herbert's playing it might go over though phenomenal drive from the Chargers LA goes up seven Ravens are no joke though so it's far from over tie game just like that Chargers answer back with a touchdown and so do the Ravens they actually take the lead in the third quarter and they don't stop scoring LA needs to stop the bleeding they're not going to be able to 30 points unanswered at one point 37 to 22 final score Baltimore gets the dub Herbert two touchdowns one interception now this was a very tough defense to go up against and you're up against King Henry now Justin had three touchdowns total because remember that rushing touchdown Palmer leading receiver for them it's not good enough against the elite of the elite Texans get the one seed in the AFC they go 14 and three the Chargers and Bengals also make it, but the Dolphins go 8 and 9 with 299 overall wide receivers. That's insane. Jets go 7 and 10. So out of our five AFC teams with offensive rookie of the years only three of them ended up making it cowboys get the one seed in the nfc cardinals get the three seed eagles make the playoffs at 10 and 7 so the saints go 6 and 11 they're the only nfc team with an offensive rookie of the year that did not make it stroud with a phenomenal season 29 to 4 ratio 3700 yards he had four touchdowns on the ground Mixon 1600 yards 13 touchdowns him and pierce combined for 24 of those nico collins led the way Diggs was the third leading receiver 
receiver. Most sacks went to Will Anderson Jr., Daniil Hunter right behind him with a seven and a half, and Harris with the most INTs. Garrett Wilson, 1,200 yards receiving, 84 receptions, and six touchdowns. Solid season. Jets had 2,000 yard receivers, him and Williams. Breeks, 1,200 yards rushing, 15 rushing touchdowns. Rodgers with a decent season. A little more interceptions than I'm sure he would like to throw. Just under 4,000 yards as well. Most sacks went to Reddick and Williams, both with nine and a half. And then DJ Reed, with four interceptions. Jamar Chase with 85 receptions, 1,100 yards, seven touchdowns for Cincy. Zach Moss, three yards shy of 1,000. Burrow had two touchdowns on the ground to go along with 35 through the air, over 4,000 yards passing, and only six interceptions. Great season from him. Most sacks went to Trey Hendrickson with nine, and then Von Bell with four INTs. Crazy ratio for Justin Herbert, 32 touchdowns, only three picks, 3,700 yards, 69 completion percentage. He had four touchdowns on the ground. Edwards with 1,000 yards. He also had 11 rushing touchdowns. Two guys with double-digit receiving touchdowns, Palmer and DJ Chark on defense. Eight and a half sacks by Bosa, seven for Khalil Mack. Their investments paying off. Kyler with a nice season, 29 to six ratio, 3,600 yards. He had three rushing touchdowns. Connor with 1,100 yards and eight rushing touchdowns. Harrison Jr., a thousand yard season with 11 receiving touchdowns and 11 sacks for Zayvon Collins to lead the way. Saquon had the same number of touchdowns as his jersey number, 26 to go along with 1,600 yards. Almost average six yards a carry. Hurts with a nice season 30 to 13 ratio 3800 yards 2000 yard receivers smitty and aj brown offense was cooking most sacks went to jalen carter only six though so pass rush needs to improve alvin Kamara, 1400 yards 15 rushing touchdowns great season from him Derek carr also with a nice season 31 to 13 ratio Kamara through the receiving game 393 receiving yards three receiving touchdowns olave with 1100 yards 13 receiving touchdowns so he was cooking Cameron Jordan most sacks with six and a half. Prescott might have the best season we've seen so far. 4,700 yards, 41 touchdowns, only five picks, and a 75% completion percentage. Zeke, 1,200 yards, 13 rushing touchdowns back in Dallas and looking like himself. 1,500 yards for CeeDee Lamb. He might be at the top of the league in all three categories. Tolbert also had 1,000 yards. 19 sacks for Parsons, 11 for Demarcus Lawrence. Cowboys looking scary. And then Odell on the Dolphins, 1,300 yards. 14 receiving touchdowns, 113 receptions. Those are great numbers. Tyreek also had over 1,100 yards. I don't know how they did not make the playoffs, man. You had a 1,200-yard rusher with 12 touchdowns, Reem Mostert. Tua had a great ratio, 30 to 4. Almost through 4,000 yards, he had a 70% completion percentage. Was it the defense? I don't know, man. Nine sacks for Jalen Phillips to lead the way. Multiple guys with two interceptions, including... Hoyer, Fuller, and Ramsey. Taking a look at the league leaders, Dak at the top. In terms of passing yards, you see some young quarterbacks in there like McCarthy. Here's everyone that had at least 3,000. Daniel Jones at the bottom, but he had a good ratio, so everyone had a good season. Dak also threw the most passing touchdowns in the league. I wonder why he was that offensive rookie of the year. Now, as for rushing, Josh Jacobs led the way. Saquon ended up top five. Same with Mixon. So look out for the Texans, man. They have a top five rusher in the league. And then CJ Stroud doing his thing. Everyone that had a thousand. Saquon had by far the most rushing touchdowns, though. Philadelphia looking dangerous if they keep up that rushing game throughout the postseason. As for receiving CD Lamb, what I say? Most receiving yards, Cup, Cooper, Odell in the top five, along with Travis Kelsey. A lot of guys had over a thousand yards. As for reception, CD once again, top of the league. Odell was second, so I don't know what else he could have done. Did his thing, proved why he deserved to be an offensive rookie of the year. CD with the triple crown, 16 receiving touchdowns to lead the entire league, man. What a season from him. As for defense, most sacks, Crosby, Parsons, Buckner, Hutchinson, and Chris Jones in the top five. Defense rookie of the year is up next. Destroy the like button. You want to see that, man? Let's get to 500 likes. I know that's doable. Seven INTs for Jair Alexander. The MVP goes to Prescott. I mean, he had a great season. We should not be surprised. Lamar and the Mahomes round up top three. Herbert, another offense rookie of the year, ends up top five. Same with Kyler and Saquon and CJ Stroud. So five of our offensive rookie of the years end up in the top 10 for MVP voting. AFC, OPOY. 
Wright goes to Lamar. DPOY to Crosby. Offensive rookie of the year goes to Stroud. Defensive rookie of the year goes to his teammate, Will Anderson Jr. And the NFC goes to Jalen Carter. And offensive rookie of the year goes to B. John Robinson. Here's what the playoff bracket is looking like. Three offensive rookie of the years on the AFC side and on the NFC side. At least one of them has to make the Super Bowl. How about two of them? The seven seed Bengals and the five seed Cardinals. Jamar versus Kyler in the big game. Bengals won all their games by less than five points. The Cardinals had closed games as well, as we usually do. One drive of both of these teams in the biggest game of the season. Which offensive rookie of the year is going to rise above the rest? Kyler on his first pass, throwing a laser to Michael Wilson. Huge gain of 25. Wait, these teams played before in week five. So this is a rematch. I forget who won that one, but I'm guessing the other teams looking to get some revenge. Logan Wilson with a nice tackle for a loss. Pushing the Cardinals back a little bit. Harrison Jr. lined up in the slot. Let's see if Kyler decides to go to him. He's going to fake like he's taken off and eventually throw it to who else but Marvin Harrison Jr. 10-yard reception, making it a third down and three. Bengals showing blitz. They're going to drop back, though. Kyler with all kinds of time. Bottom of the screen, MHJ with the first down reception. Great drive by the young wide receiver so far. Cardinals inside the 25. Kyler going to the end zone. It's caught, but out of bounds. Uh-oh, Arizona going to challenge it. Let's take a look. Harrison Jr. obviously caught the football, but did he get two feet in bounds? There's one. There's two. That's a touchdown. Or at least it should be. Let's see what they call it. There it is. They give them the tutty. Arizona strikes first in the Super Bowl. But since he has fought through adversity throughout this entire playoffs, man, those are not easy teams to beat. Lamar and the Ravens. Stroud, another offensive rookie of the year and the Texans. And then Mahomes and the Chiefs, the defending Super Bowl champions. So they are battle tested through and through. This is not going to be an easy win for the Cardinals. Zach Moss only getting a couple. It's going to be a third and seven. Arizona with a chance to force a quick three and out. He played some great offenses too on their way to this spot. Let's see if they can get off the field. Burrow throwing a laser. Gasicki with the nice catch. And they get the first down. And I love this call. Going for it when you're already down seven. On fourth down, Burrow to a wide open Higgins. They get the first. Play action for Burrow on the very next play. He's going to lob this one up to the end zone. He has a wide open Gasicki. Touchdown since he were tied up at seven. Let's go, man. We have a good one in the Super Bowl. Cardinals get three on the next drive. Bengals answer back with a touchdown. If it's close in the fourth, we hop back in. Right now, it's still one possession game. It all comes down to this fourth down and four in the Super Bowl. Come on, man. Crazy finish right here. It's Hail Mary, I think. Kyler's going to loft it up. Will there be a miracle? No. The Bengals win their first Super Bowl franchise history with former offensive rookie of the year, Jamar Chase, turning into a 99 overall, man. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video.